All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta, learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 13. All right. So the map method is used to iterate through an array and return a new array. It's helpful when we want to create a new array based on the values of an existing array. Very true. Uh, for example, we've got const numbers equals this array with one, two, three as the uh, elements in it. And then we've got const double numbers equals numbers dot map. So it's this thing dot map. And inside of the, uh, and so we've got, we've got uh, inside of these parentheses right here, this function right here, all right? And the function takes number as a parameter and then has an arrow and it says number times two. And the number, uh, this number corresponds to each one of these elements in order. So double numbers will be two, four, and six because it's gonna be one times two, two times two, and then three times two. So two, four, and six. So notice that the map method takes a function as an argument. So this thing right here, all right? Uh, this is called a callback function, and that's what we call it for sure, uh, which is a function that is passed to another function as an argument. In the example above, the callback function is number, then the arrow, then number times two. And it's run on each element in the numbers array. So it's run on each one of these in order, all right? The map method then returns a new array with the results, all right? So let's come over here to the MDM and let me let me uh, try to visualize it a little bit uh, more, all right? So the map method of array instances creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, so we've got const array equals one, four, nine, and 16, right? So we've got this array right here. And when we pass a function to map, we'll say const map equals array dot, uh, pardon me, array one, so this thing, dot map. And then we're doing x, and then the arrow x times two. So every one of these, so the x corresponds to each one of these getting passed in, in order. So it'll be one times two, which gives us two when we do the console.log map one. It'll be one times two, which gives us two, and then four times two, which gives us eight, then nine times two, which gives us 18, and then 16 times two, which gives us 32, right? So let me try to visualize this for us a little bit more, right? So this is basically the same as doing a for loop. So let's say, uh, let map two equal an empty array, right? So we've got this empty array here, and we'll say four, let i equals zero, whoa, whoa, whoa. Equal, whoa, 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 whoa. equals zero while i is less than uh, array one dot length, array one dot length, we'll say i plus plus, all right? So we're gonna go through this array one right here, right? So with the for loop. So what we're gonna do here is every time we go through, we're gonna say map two, map two dot push, and we're gonna push array one, array one at i, and we're gonna multiply it. Here we go, multiply it by two, all right? And then when we come down here and do a console.log, console.log map two, and let me, uh, let's, let's uh, comment that out first. So when we run it the first time, we see we've got this map one, which is showing this stuff. And then when we take the comments out and run it again, we can see it ha it's going twice because it's doing the map two, which is the exact same thing, right? It's just, let me uh, comment this one out so I can prove it, run it again. And this is the map two. So this is pretty much the exact same thing as this, all right? It's just instead of saying array at I, we're just using X, all right? And instead of using this for loop, uh, we're just saying map, right? And that's basically, and then instead of saying the map two dot push array one, array one at i times two, we're just saying x times two. And it knows that x is array at one at i. And it knows to push it into here because that's what the map does anyway, all right? So there we go. That's basically how the map works. It's just like a for loop, 
in one line, right? Just like that. So let's come over here and we're gonna pass in a callback function to the map method. The callback function should take song as a parameter and we're gonna use an arrow function. We're gonna use arrow function syntax and it's gonna have an empty body, right? So inside here, just like this thing here and just like this thing here, where instead of the X and instead of the number, we're gonna put song, right? So we'll say song, and then we'll have the arrow, and then we're gonna have an empty body like this. And that's all they're asking for on this one so far. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 14, and we'll see you next time.